the most vexing limit is that you have to write more and more of them as more and more situations that are dangerous present themselves. And of course, with the utilization of AI on the attack side, on the hacking side, uh, this is becoming exponentially large. So uh, having a workforce that is going to be writing the rules for an exponentially increasing attack envelope uh, is, is not something that's feasible. It's simply infeasible. Uh, that's the top one. <laughs> there are layers, other layers of, of why they are not great in execution and, and, and registering threats. And one of them is, for example, that you need to tune them all the time. Um, let's take a very simple one. If there is a file going out of the system that is larger than five megabytes, says the rule, uh, then flag that and point it out to the user. Well, what is five megabytes? I mean, in one organization's um, context, it could be a large file. In another one, it could be a very, very tiny one. And if you now change the threshold up and down, you're either capturing everything. For example, you say four kilobytes is the limit and then everything above that I'm going to give an alert for. Or you're capturing, for example, nothing if you say terabytes. So the, what we call the, the receiver operating curve is, is very stiff in a sense. Either you get a lot of false positives or a lot of false negatives. With mix mode, they're really at the core layer, core AI layer. There are no rules. There, there, there is no specific rule that is, that is written down as a code. The system learns on its own and learns the deviations from, um, from the normal baseline.